recording live music. And just a reminder, you're more than welcome to take photos, but please, no flash. Thank you. Birdland is proud to present the Louis Armstrong Eternity Band, directed by David Oswald. <laughs>
Thank you and good night. <laughs> you guys know better. Same joke for all these years. What I meant to say was thank you. Welcome to the stunningly beautiful Birdland Theater. We are the Louis Armstrong Eternity Band here for your listening pleasure. Thank you for braving the inclement weather and coming out to hear us this evening. All right. I'd like to introduce you to the uh, members of our orchestra. On my far left, your far right, I speak not politically necessarily, from Cleveland, Tennessee, Jim Fryer. <laughs> from Chinchilla, Pennsylvania, the killer from Chinchilla on trumpet, Joe Boga. Over here on clarinet and alto saxophone on loan from the National Football League, ladies and gentlemen, Peyton Manning. <laughs> Disabled list. Actually, he's Will Anderson of Bethesda, Maryland. Hey, Peyton got more applause. Let me try this. Yeah, Peyton got more applause. Let's try this again. He's actually Will Anderson of Bethesda, Maryland. Woo! Woo! All right, over here on banjo and guitar is a young man who needs no introduction. Hello. On drums from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Wells. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Okay, he'll get an introduction. Although he really doesn't need one because I can assure you that of all the banjo players on West 44th Street on Wednesdays at 5.30, between 8th and 9th Avenues, that is, he's one of them. I can say that without a doubt. He also happens to be a fantastic musician and a fantastic singer, as you will soon hear. Ladies and gentlemen, from Vancouver, British Columbia, Arnie Arnson. Uh, woo! And he's a prince. We get the regal wave. All right, my name's David Ostwald. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I am from Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. I will be your tuba player this evening. Thank you. Please remain seated for now. All right, we're going to uh, do a tune right now. That written by it was written by the great Duke Ellington. It's called Creole Love Call.
call. All right, how about that? All right, folks, as I said earlier, we are the Louis Armstrong Eternity Band, here for your listening pleasure. We're here at the stunningly beautiful Birdland Theater every Wednesday at 5.30. We are now in our 24th year of a weekly engagement in a business where two weeks in a row is a steady gig. Right, guys? Yeah. We are very happy to be here. It's a great place, as you already know. Even if it's your first time here, I'm sure you can feel it already. There's great music here all the time, six, seven, eight, nine, sometimes even 10 nights a week, I've heard, both here and upstairs. 
I urge you to check out the schedule or the schedule, depending on where you're from. Either way, you will find quite a wide variety of great music in different genres. I speak French. Ah. Repertoire, Chevrolet, <laughs> restaurant, cigarette. Anyway, all right. I warned you that Arnie was a great singer, and I wasn't kidding. You're about to be treated to uh, his vocal stylings, which are unique and wonderful, on a tune called Sweet Sue, recorded by Louis Armstrong in the 1930s. Here he is, Arnie Arnson.
hands on fire. How about that, Arnie Arnson and Paul Wells? And that vocal from Arnie, woo! I warned you. All right. So um, we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to do a tune right now. Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, we're going to do a tune right now that was um, one of Louis Armstrong's earliest recordings, for those of you who are taking historical notes, from the year 1925 with a group called the Clarence Williams Blue Five. It's a great record. It's been reissued many times. You can check it out. And it's called Every Baby Loves My Body. I mean, Everybody Loves My Baby. <laughs>
was awesome. All right, thank you. Everybody loves my baby. All right, I think it's time for Jim and Joe to take a little breather right now, a well-deserved one, to give us an opportunity to feature our wonderful Reed man, Mr. Not Peyton Manning, also known as Will Anderson of Bethesda, Maryland. <laughs> Are you running for office? Anyway, on the tune of his choice, what you got, Pops? I'd like to dig into the songbook of the great George Gershwin. Oh. This is called Embraceable You. Oh. Is this the one the Rams played for his wife? <laughs>
Will Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! What a nice, such a nice young man. Um, Will has a band with his twin brother, Pete. They used to be called the Anderson Twins. Now they're the Anderson Brothers. I'm not sure why that happened. I'm sure that the psychologists who study twinery can come up with an explanation. They got separated or divorced or they made an arrangement of some sort. They decide to be polyfraternal, something like that. I don't know, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, um, but it's a great band. It's called the Anderson Brothers and they will be playing at the Blue Note on what? Saturday. At what time? Brunch time? 12.30 and 2.30, you, you gotta check them out. I can warn you, Blue Note's not as much fun as Birdland. But I can tell you without a doubt that the Anderson Brothers is a great band and you should check them out. All right, Will Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And the crowd goes mild, all right, woo! All right, I warned you earlier that there's a lot of talent up here and we're sort of releasing it one bit at a time. It's actually strategic to keep you on your toes and always ready for more thrills. One of the hidden talents l lurking up here is Jim Fryer's vokings, voc voking, <laughs> vocal stylings. You're about to be treated there too. Here we're gonna do Jim Fryer singing Fats Waller's Crazy About My Baby. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Thank you.
Jim Fryer. Woo! Nice, nice. Oh, you got you got family here tonight. All right. All right. That's a special tune for me. It reminds me of my high school prom. And and you know, when uh, believe it or not, my date from my high school prom is here tonight. No. Debbie, where are you? I don't mean yes, she is, I think. I heard oh, no, she, she doesn't want to admit oh it. God. Where? At the bar, in the back. Oh, hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Amazing. <laughs> Fifteen years have gone by since our high school prom. <laughs> that one was for you, Deb. <laughs> Thank you. Development. Yes, exactly. All right, folks. We're going to uh, do one that's kind of topical now. Um, because of the weather outside, the storm, and the weather, and the rain, etc. We're going to do a tune that's pretty well known. You might recognize it. We'll see if you recognize how we play it, though, because we've never played it before. We decided to give it a shot. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to take a brief survey afterwards, and you'll tell us how we did. But I think, I think you're on our side already a little bit, right? So we'll see what happens. We're going to have Jim Fryer sing it, because Lena Horne couldn't make it. Stormy weather. Stormy who? It's raining all the time Life is bad Gloom and misery everywhere Stormy weather Just can't get my poor self together Keeps raining all the time The time Keeps raining all the time Since she went away The blues walked in and met me If she stays away Old rocking chair will get me All I do is pray The Lord above will let me Walk in the sun once more Can't go on Everything I had was gone Stormy weather Since my gal and I ain't together Oh yeah, keeps raining all the time All the time Keeps raining all the time
I thought, what do you guys think? Keep it in the book? Yeah. Zach, how did it sound back there? Oh, sure oh. All right. We got, we'll keep it in the book. All right. As long as I got you in survey mode, let me ask you a question, if you don't mind taking a brief survey. Are you guys having fun or what? Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't think they can hear you. Um, is it on? Yeah. Turn, turn the volume up to 11, David. Oh, is that what? Let's try it again. You having fun or what? <laughs> I think that sounded better. Actually, tell tell you the truth, we we can feel it. Whether you make you know, no matter how much noise you make, but we're flattery operated because we're musicians. So the more noise you make, the more therapy sessions we can skip later in the week. So we really appreciate it. That just I think that second round there saved us probably like. $950 collectively, just, just for the co-pays if you're in that work, yeah. Anyway, okay, thank you. We're having fun too, and we know that you are, and thank you for coming. We're going to do a tune right now that Louis Armstrong recorded with his Hot 7 in the year 1927. In May, the anniversary is coming up, and uh, it was a wonderful 10-day period where he recorded some of the most important tunes in the jazz canon, and um, we're thrilled to play this one for you. It's called the Weary Blues, and it's neither weary nor a blues. <coughs> All right. Lightning bright. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
on the drums. How about that, folks? Oh, man. We're so lucky to have Paul with us. And Paul's going to be playing with you at the Blue Note, right? At that other place. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. We only got time for a couple more tunes. We're slowly running out of time. I'm sorry. They're, they're, not, they're not moaning. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> all right. Um, but uh, I sp I'm, tell you, I'm speaking... Uh, clockwise, of course, when they say running out of time, not rhythm-wise. As I said, Paul Wells has been a model of time, and so has Arnie. We've got just the perfect rhythm section here. See? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. All right, so we do have time for a couple more, and I think it's time for Arnie to sing yes. a soggy ballad, oh, given yes, the rain outside. Ballad. And um, this one is really sad, actually, I think. And um, you might... Prepare to be deeply moved by Arnie's rendition of when your liver when your lover has gone. <laughs> Bye. 
cares for starlit skies when you're alone that magic moonlight dies at break of dawn there ain't no sunrise when your lover has gone when your lover has gone when your lover has gone what lonely hours these evening shadows bring what lonely hours with my memories they're lingering it's just like faded flowers my life can't be Arnson on the vocal. Joe Bogo on the trumpet, the killer from Chinchilla himself. All right. Oh, before we before we part, I've got a. I didn't talk about the CDs, did I? Oh no, not yet. I didn't mention the CDs. Does anyone know what they are? What CDs are? You you go at the bank and you get a CD. No. I'm interested in that. These are actually little silver discs you stick in a machine and they replay music that's been recorded. And we have one available. We have a bunch out, but there's only one that we have available and it's back there. And it was recorded, as luck would have it, at a live concert, much like today. So if you want to like recreate the wonderful fun, the wild abandon that you felt that you can see in the air this very evening, if you want to recreate that in your own home, you can buy one or two or three dozen of our CDs. <laughs> there back there and um, you know there's so many reasons so many there's no greater way to show the depth of your love for your loved one than with a gift with such a gift that's one thing you can they make great stocking stuffers if you want to do early shopping but best of all they come with a guarantee which is this 
no other band gives this guarantee. If you don't like it, you can send it back to me and I'll send you a CD I don't like. <laughs> Fair enough? I think so, I've got a whole pile at home dying to get rid of, but nobody ever asked to honor the guarantee. Anyway, all right. All right, here we go, down to the last tune. Thank you so much for coming out to hear us, folks. Thank you. <laughs> we really enjoyed playing for you. We do hope to see you again. And in the meantime, we are going to leave you, as we always do, with a Louis Armstrong composition from the year 1936. Here's Swing That Music. Good night, folks.
Yes, folks. As the sun sets over West 44th Street, it's time to say goodnight. Thank you once again for coming out to hear us. Until next time, how about one more hand for these incredibly talented musicians up here, including, uh, without limiting the generality of the foregoing, Jim Fryer, Joe Boga, Will Anderson, uh, Arnie Arnson, uh, Paul Wells, and yours truly, David Oswald, reminding you that if you're driving tonight, please make sure you have a car. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.